hi guys this is manas and let us resume okay so we have uh, in front of ourselves the next problem in this series the penultimate problem um uh, and it goes like this a point a is situated in the first quadrant its shortest distance from the intersection point of hp vp and auxiliary plane is 60 mm and it is equidistant from the principal planes draw the projections of the point and determine the distance from the principal planes all right so there is this guy whose name is point a and it is situated in the first quadrant that means it is going to be above hp and in front of vp so we have uh, in front of ourselves uh, a point whose name is a and in first quadrant fine so for any kind of projection of a uh, point you need two things the one is h and the other one is d h is nothing but the distance of that point from horizontal plane and d is the distance of the same point from vertical plane so let us try to find out these two data ah its shortest distance from the intersection point of hp vp and auxiliary plane is 60 mm okay no such information on h and d are being given okay let's see shortest distance shortest distance is equal to from intersection point from inter section point of hp vp and uh, auxiliary plane is e equal to 60 mm all right let us see what what else has been given to us and it is equidistant from the principal planes so, so the point has been positioned in the first quadrant and it has been positioned in such a way that its distance from horizontal plane is equal to the distance from vertical plane that means h is equal to d yes that's true as far as this points positioning is concerned all right so we have this relation in front of us and we have this data that has the shortest distance and for solving this problem i strictly urge you guys to go through the previous lecture uh there we had a point uh, named q please go through that and if you go through that problem you will be in a much better position to solve this one okay i'll give uh, just a sneak peek of the previous problem no now please have a careful look at this in that problem we had the value of h and d as 40 and 30 and the point was in first quadrant that means h is going to be above and d is going to be below with h you need to put a dash uh, with d they mentioned d you don't need to put a dash and here we had the shortest distance you can clearly see that this line over here that is oq double dash makes a certain angle this angle worked out as 53 degrees all right and you can see this length 40 over here and you can see this length 30 over here uh it somehow forms tries to form a triangle in which this angle is clearly 90 degrees and from calculation we saw that this angle worked out as 53 degrees all right what i'm trying to say is if these two distances both 40 and 30 if these two distances become same now let us uh assume that over here it's 40 and over here in place of 30 if i write 40 over here then what would happen is uh this will be 40 and this will be 40 in such a case what will happen that these two angles will become equal if these two sides are equal then these two angles will become equal and if i say that this angle over here is x and this angle is also x then x plus x will be equal to 90 all right if x plus x is equal to 90 in such a case 2x will work out as 90 and then x will be equal to 45 degrees so guys please remember when h and d are same then the shortest distance makes an angle of 45 degrees with the xy line and this is the concept that we going to use okay i'll write this down logic shortest distance makes 45 degree angle when both h and d are equal or when the point is equi distant from 
both HP and VP. So let us use uh, this data. And as far as first uh, quadrant is concerned, you know very well that uh, front view is going to be above, top view below, and left hand side view to the right. Uh, similarly, you can say that VP vertical plane will be above XY, HP below, and profile plane or auxiliary plane to the right. All right. So let us make this layout, and then we'll we're gonna start uh, drawing. <coughs> So here in front of you, you have this layout, vertical plane, horizontal plane, auxiliary plane. Okay. Now let us use this data immediately. Shortest distance from the intersection point of HP, VP and auxiliary plane. Let us say that the name of this intersection point is say I or O. You can write it anything you want. I let us say we have it uh, as I. Now in this problem, the shortest distance is going to make an angle of 45 degree and the shortest distance is 60 millimeters. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line, a 60 mm long line at an angle of 45 degrees. This in fact is our side view. The name of the point is A. So as far as side views are concerned, we need to put a double dash over here. Next thing that we'll be doing is, this is the shortest distance in fact. Okay. You and the next thing that we're going to be doing is we will randomly dr to draw a line from this particular point and uh, of any length, any suitable length. All right. You somewhere down here, you're going to have yourselves uh, H will be above and D will be below. Here it's front view, below it's top view. Again, from this particular point, bring it downwards. Now you need to rotate your line at an angle of 45 degrees this angle over here is going to be 45 degrees all right let us do so so i'm going to produce to you this line until it meets this vertical line somewhere down here all right so here we have it the projection finally and this over here is going to be a dash since it's a front view you need to put a dash and this over here is the top view it's as simple the only thing that we have taken into consideration is this angle okay this angle was 45 degrees and this uh, shortest distance in fact uh, this distance over here is 60 millimeters all right now there were a few things uh, which was asked to do us we were supposed to draw the projection the projection has been done the next thing that we were being asked is to determine the distance from the principal planes that means the distance of point a from horizontal plane and as well as the distance of same point a from the vertical plane and if you calculate the distance from drawing it it would work out as somewhere around 42 millimeters and since both H and D are same this again has got to be again 42 millimeters so that's what the values of H and D or the distance of point above HP and distance of point in front of VP so we can say and we can conclude by saying that the point lies at a height of 42 millimeters above HP and the point lies at a distance of 42 millimeters in front of the vertical plane so let us write it down so that's it folks that's what that was all from my side and let us meet again okay uh, thank you for watching the video and if you like it hit subscribe bye bye